Hey gang, Scott Davenport here. On today's video, I have a few notes for you about focus stacking in On One Photo Raw. If you're not familiar with what focus stacking is, very briefly, you have a scene that has a very long depth of field or you want to make sure that you have very crisp focus all the way through a scene. You can take multiple photos at different focal lengths all the way into the scene and then blend those together to get crisp details all throughout. This is used a lot in macro photography and sometimes I'll use it for landscape photography. And I have a different video that shows me capturing the, the photos I'll show you here uh, of you know, how the field technique works. So you can go check that out. But what I want to cover here is the focus stacking in Photo Raw. So I'm in Browse and I've got this series of photos where I think I was focusing along this wall here. I mean, it focused at this point and then this point and then this point all the way down to the center. So I have different planes of focus for each shot. You know, this is like in the, in the front, you know, a third of the way in, two thirds of the way in, all the way down to the back. So I select all of these photos and hit the focus button in browse. After a moment, Photo Raw generates this preview where it's taken all the images you selected. It found the most sharp areas of each photo and stitched them all together for you. Now, there's a couple of things I want to point out about the interface here. Some things that either people uh, generally don't understand uh, and one in particular that may seem alarming, but it may not be alarming depending on how you're going to do your stitching. Uh, first is uh, what does this align photos do? That's like aligning layers and layers. And notice I've got a tiny bit of uh, empty pixels along the right and bottom edge of this scene. Well, I must have had some very slight shift in my camera between the pictures, probably when I was adjusting the focus point. Uh, but the uh, next one is like this despeckle. I guess another thing is you can actually zoom in here. You can zoom in a little tiny bit. Notice despeckle here. Watch these, these leaves on this plant here as I raise despeckle up. See how it gets cleaned up? It's, um, it's kind of like de-ghosting for HDR, uh, but it's just cleaning up rough edges or things where you know, things get chopped apart. Um, now, you can also see that in some cases, despeckle is not going to correct everything. There's a part right down here that is just, it's a, it's a broken leaf and that will require some work later. Because of that, I always like to bring in layered results. Now, the other thing is this warning symbol. What is going on here? So the warning means Photo Raw was not able to read the focus depth from the EXIF data in my raw files. Why is that important? Well, if you want to play with depth of field, so by default, you get maximum depth of field and Photo Raw is gonna stitch everything together, give you a focus stack of full depth. If you wanted to play with that and get some softer looking focus in some areas and kind of virtually slide around what your plane of focus is, these sliders here, depth of field, it's at maximum right now. I would start to manipulate these things. But this warning means these results will be uh, unpredictable because Photo Raw just cannot figure out, well, which of these five images has the focus point set closer in the scene? Which one's middle? Which one's the farthest away? If all you're doing is maximum focus, ignore the warning. Keep on going with your focus deck. I'll go ahead and do that right now. When the focus stack is done, it's loaded everything into develop like I asked it to, and it kept all the layers. And notice all the different masks that Photo Raw automatically created so that when we look at this scene, we're actually seeing a sequence of layers. Uh, everything's masked. And so I have the option of pulling in some of my lower base layers if I need to, like to correct some of the, you know, the, the disconnects in these leaves here. I could brush in the leaves from another one of the layers to clean up. So that's why I like to have my layers come in. But let's get back to this um, this this uh, warning triangle. So, well, Scott, well, I want to go play with those depth of field things. Maybe you're doing macro work and that's an important thing to do and you're getting these warnings. Well, I want to show you one thing that uh, might help you out and it's back in Browse. Let's get back over to Browse. And when I first brought these five photos into Photo Raw. It was with the uh, original uh, Photo Raw 2019 that came out uh, late 2018. And since then, Photo Raw has added more support for more cameras, understands where focus length and focus depth are stored in different cameras. I just need to tell it, I need to nudge it and say, hey, go reread this data. And so when you populate your internal database and whatever magic on one's doing underneath, you know about this. So with the photos selected, I'm going to pop back up to the photo menu and say, read metadata from photo. 
and say, are you going to update and overwrite? Yeah, I'm okay with that. I want to get that focal length in there. And with that done, those are all selected. Let's go back into focus stacking. Check that out. There's no warning anymore, right? I've refreshed that metadata. I've told Photo Raw, go back out and take a second look at those photos. You know, the, the Photo Raw engine's improved. You understand more about these files. Go take a second look. And now I'd be able to go and play with these depth of field sliders, no problem. Notice across the top of each one of these frames now, there is a distance, right, from four meters all the way out to 19 meters. So it's organized them from closest focus all the way to farthest focus. So as I focused all the way down this wall, it's figuring all that out now. So if you're getting that warning triangle and you want to play with the depth of field sliders, try refreshing the metadata. Reread the metadata from your photos and let uh, on one recatalog those particular images. And then you'll be able to do that, uh, that focus stacking and that uh, control over depth of field that you want to do. That's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, let me know somehow. Comments on the video below. Questions about photography. I'm always eager to hear what is on your mind photographically. You can leave them in the comments below. If you want to keep it private, hit me up through my website. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport and happy shooting.